Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at stacks and scrolling, two very exciting features that are part of Adobe XD's June update. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD and we're going to start with stacks first of all. So we have this artboard over here on the left. Now stacks are a great way to easily reorder content both horizontally and vertically. So if I click on this, you can see over here in the layers panel, we have a bunch of different cards and what I can do, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pop this back on top. There we go. The number sequence has to run in order. And what I'm going to do is take all of these grouped cards and select them holding shift, right click, and we're going to group these together. So these are now grouped and I'll just give this group a name. We'll go with cards. And what I'm going to do is go over here. And in the latest update, you can see we have the stack option. Now the stack needs to be applied to the group. So if we click this checkbox, you can see we can choose vertical or horizontal. Of course, I'm going to go with vertical. And now I can double click to go inside this group. And when I move around these cards, you can see they automatically reorder. So I can just shuffle the order around. And if I jump over here as well, you can see the layers actually reorder as well. Now you can see I've kind of pulled these off center here. So if you don't want that to happen, let's undo that. You can reorder them and just hold shift and it will snap that vertically. And I can also hover in between and hold shift and click on the pink area to adjust the spacing. So this is like a, a custom repeat grid group, something like that. So there's a look at stacks, very, very cool. Now, if we go over here, we have horizontal and vertical scrolling. So you can see on this design here that we have lots of fruit that can be selected. I've duplicated and repeated this off the artboard, both vertically and horizontally. Uh, it's a little bit excessive, and in reality, you probably wouldn't go horizontally here, but I've just done this to demonstrate this feature. So again, if I just show you, we have the group up here called fruits. We have everything else contained within it, but the important thing is that we focus on the group. So with the group selected, we've got these new options here. Horizontal scroll, vertical scroll, and horizontal and vertical scroll. Now, of course, you can use these two over here independently. I'm going to be using this one just to show you this feature. So we click on that, we get these little anchor points or these handles we can control. And then I can just move these here. This is going to be where the edge of my scroll is going to run to. So I don't want everything to overrun the rest of the design. So the scroll will be contained within this space. And if I go up here and click play, you can see if I mouse over here, I can go up and down, left and right. In fact, I can just go all around basically. And there's a few other features that are part of the June update for Adobe XD, most notably design tokens, durable links, and support for Italian and Russian languages. So there you go. There's a look at stacks and scrolling in Adobe XD. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, hey, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.